Uh, this is the second annual uh, Hopkinton Field Hockey Fundraiser. Last year we, we kicked this off. My daughter Abby passed away from an anaphylactic reaction in December of 13. She was a field hockey player in Hopkinton. Uh, the field hockey program has embraced uh, a fundraising platform for us and we're excited to, to put on a little alumni game for the uh, alumni and varsity program. Uh, we're going to start the day off with a with an exhibition game between parents of the uh, varsity players, parents of the program, and some community leaders. We've got elected officials, police and fire department, uh, some, some business leaders in town. Uh, that we're going to do a little brief exhibition match with an oversized ball, have some fun out there, and really sort of bring the community together for a day uh, to raise some funding for our, our cause. Our primary cause is to stop anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is, a, uh, is an allergic reaction that, uh, that, that could be potentially life-threatening if not treated early. Our primary goal is to keep smiling for Abbey Foundation are to fund research into uh, early detection of anaphylaxis. Uh, and our thoughts there are to fund research into a technology solution that senses the reaction early on and triggers the medication called epinephrine. Uh, and then at the same time, simultaneously alerting uh, uh, emergency responders. Uh, very often with anaphylaxis, the, the patient doesn't realize they're, they're having a life-threatening attack. And what happens is that they, they just can't have difficulty breathing like a normal asthma attack. and, and uh, they, they let it progress too far to the point where they can't stop it with epinephrine. So again, our goal is to, to fund research into a technology solution that gives those patients an early warning. We also do awareness programs and we fund two scholarships here in Hopkinton uh, for graduating seniors. Oh, it's a great atmosphere. Last year we had about 300 people. We're projecting about 350. The field's set up. We got tents and, and a raffle item going on. It's a beautiful afternoon. We got some nice cloud cover here to take the heat off the, the players. Um, we're going to serve some pulled pork and, and shredded chicken uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, some great food. Uh, we have Della's Lemonade here providing some refreshments. Uh, it's just a great overall family day uh, for the field hockey program. All right, and uh, any predictions on, on as far as who's going to uh, take the win today? Uh, well, that's, that's difficult to, uh, to predict that. The last year, the community team won uh, on, a, on a stretch goal by Evan Bishop, the principal of the high school. The, uh, the parents team this year has strong, strong athletic presence with uh, Jody Dolan, uh, one of the parents of the program, and, and my wife, Amy Benford. Uh, uh, here she is right here. Amy's right here. She's, uh, she's playing again this year. She gave up the, loot, the winning goal last year to the other team. That's she not sort of why stumbled. I came on camera. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I think that the parents will show well today. Um, and then the, the varsity, varsity alumni game will be hard fought. The, the varsity girls have been practicing. Uh, the alumni, uh, a couple of state champions on the alumni team. Last year they won two to nothing, but I think, I think we'll have a good spirited competition. I've never held one of these things. I'm thinking I'll use it like a, a nine iron on the golf course without a big backswing. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, getting out there. I know nothing about field hockey, but I heard they're using a rubber ball, so that makes it easier. Now, um, have you had any kind of uh, experience? Did you practice at all for this today? Never, I play hockey, so I don't know how to use this thing. We'll figure it out as we go. All right, and a great cause. Uh, people are gathered here uh, today. Can you talk a little bit about the cause? Yeah, I mean, my uh, obviously all the kids know about Abby and what happened. And um, Stephen Bedford, I think, put this together a couple years ago and um, asked me as a community leader to participate, and I'm happy to do so. Just so many good friends and people that I know around here. So it's great to see events like this bring the community together and help out with the cause.